The Tesla Model Y has been out for long enough now that there are plenty of review videos. And one of the things that comes up often is the ride quality. Now, if you're coming from an air ride suspension, you're going to notice a difference in this car. However, if you're coming from a standard run of the mill car, like a Toyota Camry or a Honda Civic or something like that, you're not gonna notice anything terrible about this car. We've had our car for almost a year now and we do have the induction wheels. So I'm well aware of how the car rides and how comfortable or sometimes not comfortable it can be. Personally, I don't have a problem with how the car rides, but there are a number of people who wish it rode a little bit more comfortable. Now, some time ago, there was a teardown of the Tesla Model Y and it did show signs that potentially an air suspension was being considered for the Tesla Model Y. Sandy Monroe during his teardown showed you where the tank would go for the air compressor, as well as how this thing would be set up. Now, Elon Musk multiple times has shot down this idea of any kind of air suspension coming to the Tesla Model Y. So even though Elon Musk has continued to shut down this rumor, there continues to be breadcrumbs of hints that a new suspension is coming to the Model Y and now the Model 3 as well. Yesterday on Twitter, the updated owner's manual for the Model 3 and the Model Y was released. And what's interesting is there's a new icon on the display that is hinting at something new coming to the Model Y and the Model 3. If you look closely, there's now an icon that looks eerily similar to the Model S and the Model X, which feature an air suspension, to show that the Model 3 and Model Y are getting some sort of new suspension, potentially. Previously, there's been other leaks that suggest there's a new suspension coming as well, including a parts catalog update that showed something about an air suspension. Now, there's no question at all that an air ride suspension is going to be substantially more comfortable than any coil suspension, especially the one that's found on the Model 3 and the Model Y today. However, these are very expensive systems and hearing Elon Musk shut these rumors down multiple times has not been a surprise. As a matter of fact, Elon Musk has continued to push the idea that these cars are too expensive, which they are. In order to make this a mass market car, those costs have to continue to come down. So how is it that a potential new suspension could be coming if we're trying to get costs down? Well, I think there's two things to keep in mind that might support this idea. Number one, during battery day, Elon Musk released a ton of details of the next generation Teslas that are to be coming in the next couple of years. Along with many updates in battery technology includes a significant weight and cost savings. New manufacturing methods, including mega castings, are going to help bring down the cost of manufacturing these cars substantially. The new batteries as well are going to be substantially less expensive than the current model. Because of all these things, there is a lot of cost coming out of these cars in the next couple of years, which is great. Does this now open up the possibility of including a new suspension in the Model 3 and Y? Quite possibly. Now, of course, an air suspension is the Mac Daddy of all suspensions. An air suspension is going to give you the benefit of a very plush ride. However, an air suspension is not the only type of suspension that could be better than what's on the car today. As a matter of fact, there are new suspension types that are adaptive and electronically controlled that do not feature any air. These adaptive suspension systems have been finding their ways into cars more recently. Tesla may be on its way to doing just that. Although I would prefer an air suspension, I think there's still a case to be made about an adaptive mechanical system on the suspension of the Model 3 and the Model Y. I think that cost is going to be substantially less. There's going to be less components and less moving parts. Should be quicker and easier to adapt to the existing car and it should be pretty quick to implement. Now these cars are heavy and that's because of the batteries that sit underneath of them. With that added weight, getting a suspension that's going to properly hold the car up and perform as well as give comfort is very challenging. That's why air suspensions are such a great option for such heavy cars and it's featured on many luxury cars. However, an adaptive system could be just as effective on the Model 3 and the Model Y. The Model 3 and the Model Y are substantially less heavy than the Model S and the Model X. Because of this, you could probably get most of the comfort benefits of an air suspension with an adaptive system on the 3 and the Y. 
If indeed this does come, it appears that this is going to be an adjustable system, which is great. In addition, because it's on the screen and it's showing an up and a down, I would assume that you're going to be able to control this system from the screen. This is nothing new and Audi and BMW and the like have been doing this for some time where you can make suspension changes directly from the infotainment center in the car. Having the ability to adjust ride comfort, stiffness of the suspension, being able to go from a performance profile then to a comfort profile really makes this a unique setup for the Model Y and the Model 3. When you're on a very twisty road as an example, you can change the suspension to be more responsive. However, when you get back on the highway, maybe you just want more comfort. Additionally, maybe you're going to have the option to lower the suspension on the highway, therefore reducing drag. If that is the case, you should be able to extend range because of that. There's a lot to be gained from having an adjustable suspension, and there are aftermarket options available that get great reviews. Having it come from the factory directly on the car is even better, and I am holding hope for a while now, I've been shutting down the rumors and the questions about having an adaptive system coming to the car because Elon Musk has said it's not coming so many times. However, there's so much evidence at this point pointing to the fact that there has to be something coming. Although this is not confirmed and nothing is guaranteed at this point, it's been very exciting to see how this particular rumor has continued to gain traction. Elon Musk has historically shot down many rumors over time that have turned out to be the complete opposite. Let's take a look at the standard range Model Y as a perfect example of this. Elon Musk was very clear that there would not be a standard range Model Y ultimately coming to the market. And that's because the range would just not meet expectation. However, here we are. We have the standard range Model Y now available before the long range rear wheel drive that actually was confirmed by Elon Musk last year. So it begs the question, is this just another one of those areas where Elon Musk says one thing and ultimately something completely different happens? Well, I think for a lot of people that is certainly the hope. I will say this, without a doubt the Model Y could use some refinement in the suspension and if a new suspension comes out and if it is indeed adjustable, this is going to be a great feature to add to the already numerous features this car has well above and beyond anything else that's out there. This could be just another piece to help keep Tesla from the pack. So with that said, like an iPhone, the Tesla Model Y continues to get new features and continues to make the older models obsolete. So I'm curious to know, what do you think about all of this? I know many of you have been commenting and sending me messages about an adjustable suspension coming to the Model Y. So is this what you were looking for? I'm still skeptical, however, seeing the icon in the display now in the owner's manual certainly points that something is very likely coming. In the end, I certainly hope it's an air suspension, however, I think an adaptive suspension is the most likely of the two. And that's simply because of cost. If these cars are already too expensive, adding an air suspension is probably going to be cost prohibitive to do. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure to give it the thumbs up, it really helps. If you haven't already, of course, subscribe to the channel as we continue to post content regularly. You can follow us on Twitter and Instagram, at Tesla. Thanks so much for watching, we'll catch you next time.